And back mask ventilation is the cornerstone of basic airway management, which is needed in cases of inadequate ventilation or inadequate fund oxygenation like CBR, which is not our concern here. Now, what is the cause of inadequate ventilation? It can be caused by inadequate respiratory performance, which can be result from intrinsic factors like intracranial or extrinsic factors like sedated patients or opioid overdose. And this cause can be managed simply by applying open face mask to increase the fraction of inspired oxygen. The other cause of inadequate ventilation is airway obstruction, which can be resolved from the prolapse of the tank in the posterior pharynx due to the loss of tone of the soft palate. And also this can be managed by simple airway maneuver. Also, causes of airway obstruction can be resulted from foreign bodies or the rangeous passage. This is our role. Consists of steps that have done effectively adequate ventilation with the These steps are airway maneuvers, airway adjuncts, light mask ventilation, definitive airway, all these steps together will achieve adequate ventilation. Now I will talk about airway maneuvers. Airway maneuvers, the aim of air maneuver, airway maneuvers is to provide air flow. There are two airway maneuvers, head lift, chin lift, and jaw thrust. The head lift, chin lift maneuver is a primary airway maneuver that can be done in patients in whom cervical spine injury is not a concern, and by applying the hand the forehead of the patient pushing it inward and the other hand in its index and middle finger lifting the chin up. The second airway maneuver is jaw thrust and this maneuver can be done in patients in whom cervical spine injury is a concern and uh, can be done uh, the provider should be at the head of the bed uh, his uh, heel of both hands at the oriental occipital area of the head allowing the four fingers of his both hands grasping the angle of the mandible and the airway to open the, uh, the, open the airway. If any airway you choose, you will always consider that there is a cervical spine injury and be cautious. Once the airway is created, it must be maintained. Mm -hmm. And these devices, all perennial airway and nasal perennial airway, are adjusts for achieving this goal. The airway of the all perennial airway is a care, roll tube, pair with a flank, when inserted uh, properly, it will rest again the patient lips to prevent more inward migration inside the whole and the aim of this device is to maintain a good conduit between the mouth and the glottis. This device should not be used in uh, conscious patients or responsive patients because it, it will not tolerate it and will cause gag reflex and there is a risk of aspiration, vomiting and aspiration. So it should not, it's just used in a patient unresponsive and able to maintain his airway or airway. May when inserting this uh, device, you will push the tongue posteriorly and you will worsen the obstruction. So, to overcome this complication, you can insert this device, uh, invert it, then rotate it 180, uh, 180 degrees as it passed to the, uh, the hyperphalanx uh, at the resistance encounter. And you can also use tongue depressor to move the tank out of the way as the device is passed. The other uh, airway adjuncts, the nasal pharyngeal airway, this device can be used in conscious patients and the patients can tolerate this device. It is a rubber plastic a tube or a tube passed uh, uh, through the nose into the hypopharynx uh, and comes in different sizes. The larger than 10 millimeters and the longer. 
Inserting it, you should apply it amount of KY jelly to facilitate inserting. And if any resistance encountered, you should rotate it gently to uh, advance it. The complication of both airway adjuncts. Uh, complications of both airway, airway, airway obstruction by pushing tank. I mentioned it, and you can overcome this complication by rotating the device and rotate it or by using tank depressor. Uh, other complications from obstetrician, especially the lower level of the patients, and can cause gag effects in conscious patients. Also, improper using size of these devices can cause complications, like if you use too small one, it can be lost in the oropharynx, causing uh, airway obstruction, and also if you use too long one, can cause airway obstruction by pushing the epiglottis, closing the glottis. The complication of endotharyngeal airway, intracranial placement, it is reported placement of this device in the intracranial in patients with basal fracture, so it is contraindicated to be used in patients with basal fracture. Also, two tool devices of this can enter the esophagus. Uh, causing inflating of the stomach and will interfere with, uh, with adequate uh, ventilation. And also, uh, nasal mucosa bleeding can cause in 30% of cases, and there is a risk of aspiration of bleeding. <coughs>